Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I'm back to do an updated version of the Size Matters video that I did. I can't believe it's been two years, but two years ago. There have been some changes for the sizes available for Traveler's Notebooks, Disc Bound Systems, and Ring Systems. So I'm going to do my best to show you what sizes are out there and popular and available now and explain how they work or how they compare to each other. Before I get into that, on the previous video there were quite a few comments about the metric system versus imperial and standard system. I'm well aware <laughs> of the differences in how that works and why it is the way it is. What I was trying to do and what I am trying to do in these Size Matters videos is explain to the newbies, to the planner community, how the sizes compare. I'm not so much hung up on if metric is the way to go or why the metric sizes are the way they are. It's more just an explanation of size and comparing sizes so that if as a new planner you're looking to buy a planner and trying to figure out what size might work for you or you would like to see how it compares to another size, I'm trying to give you that information. Um, and also it kind of helps if you're making your own inserts kind of gives you a guide and somewhere to start so enough of that I do understand metric versus imperial or standard I understand that and when showing these sizes that were metric I've converted the metric to inches because I am in the US and we do use inches to measure in the US so I'm that's just that's just what it is okay I just wanted to show this briefly. This is a letter size piece of paper. This is a page that is an A4 size. This is the difference in the two. Ho hopefully you can see that. The letter is slightly wider and the A4 is slightly longer. All of the sizes in the metric system are based off of this A4 size from what I understand and from what I've researched. So when you fold this in half you get the A5 and continue folding and you get the smaller sizes. Over here in the US we use letter size paper. So we kind of do the same thing it's just not called the same names. So when you fold this in half which I'm, I'm actually going to do this for this one when you fold this in half, it's called half page, half letter, half sheet. Then when you fold it in half again, this measures five and a half by eight and a half. When you fold it in half again, this gives you four and a quarter by five and a half. There is no um Traveler's Notebook size that I know of that is this size, which I don't understand. This would be like a perfect size to make a Traveler's Notebook. The closest that I know of is the pocket size, which is three and a half by five and a half. And then if you even fold it even further, this would be considered a quarter page in the graphic design world, printing world, um, that I know of. It's considered a quarter page. And then you go down to your eighth page, which is when you fold that in half e even further. Okay? So, and I don't think we have anything this size either as far as Traveler's Notebooks. Or maybe we do two and three quarters by four and a quarter. No, nope, the closest thing we have to this would be the micro but it's not exact. So this is, I mean, basically the same concept that is used with the A4. The only difference is we don't use the folded versions as Traveler's Notebook sizes. We stick with using the sizes that are metric, basically. I mean, we have a few that are thrown in in between that are not, but for the most part, everything is based on the metric system. I've just converted it to inches to make it easier for those of us who use inches. So let's go ahead and get into it. I have three types of sizes. I'm doing disc, ring bound, and traveler's notebooks. 
they're going to be mixed in but I will also do photos of each set separately so that you can see what the sizes are I'm going to start big to small I'm going to start with a classic disc this is basically the size of happy planner classic size happy, happy planner seven by nine and a quarter inches um, I don't know what else to say about it <laughs> it's very comparable to the size of an Erin Condren and I think it's close in size to the palm paper planner those are spiral bound bound planners so the recollections planner is probably around the same size as well that is the classic size then we move into the classic half sheet which is half of this which is four and a four and one eight by nine and a quarter these are not converted from metric sizes these are just the sizes that they are they are what they are okay now here we get into the metric world again I'm going large to small so this is the half letter and this is the actual A5 which is based on the metric size so these are comparable this is like I showed you with the pink and white paper this is the letter size piece of paper folded in half and that gives you the half letter which is comparable to the A5 you can see the difference here the A5 is slightly wider and it's shorter so there's that as it compares to this you can see the difference in the sizes I don't know I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the metric version tucked inside of the actual version for this okay then we're gonna move on to the Kaye. Um, I don't know if this is metric too. There is only one size of this that I was able to find. Kaye is five by eight and a quarter. It's just slightly smaller than the half letter and A5. So this is how they compare. Again, compares to the disc bound. there's that then we move on to what I think was one of the original sizes for the traveler's notebook which is regular or standard it's also called the US size conversion is four and a quarter by eight and a quarter the metric conversion is actually 4.33 by 8.25 this is how they compare very little difference it's like a slither here difference in size okay the height is exactly the same this again is what the standard Midori um, I can't re I think there's this it's changed names I don't remember what the new name is but it used to be the Midori that was this size then we move on to the B6 which is a photo size 5 by 7 this is the size in inches and this is what the metric size is converted to inches 4.8 by 6.8 5 by 7 would be easier for you to measure if you're using inches you could convert this to um, the metric version and do it that way it just depends on what you want to do and this is the difference in size very minimal difference okay so that's B6 and so we're getting smaller and smaller we're back to another disc this is mini disc not much difference from the B6 it's 4.625 by 7 it's another disc bound and actually what it is is half of the classic going this way okay so you have the half sheet that goes this way that is half of the classic and the mini that goes this way that is half of the classic but I put this over here because it's more along the size of the B6 it's comparable very similar in size just slightly um, more narrow than the B6 
of these that I have down here actually the half letter may be one of the more versatile sizes and that is used in all of the systems that I'm showing sizes for this is used uh, and referred to as a junior size in some disc bound systems it's used for ring bound systems and traveler's notebooks so all three of those have half letter size or a5 versions b6 is similar in that even though you can have disc size for any of these sizes b6 also there's a ring version and traveler's notebook for b6 personal wide is specific to rings but it is basically the same thing as the mini disc and the B6. These three are really pretty much interchangeable, I would say. The size difference is so minimal. Um, it always just is funny to me that people say, oh, I prefer personal wide over B6. You're talking about a quarter of an inch. It's, <laughs> it's really the same thing. I mean, look at that. these are all in the same family so if this size is for you any any of these three would work okay personal wide again I don't think that there is a traveler's notebook in this size it's just rings next up is another somewhat newer size and that is B6 slim um, B6 slim is 4.25 by seven so basically it is a short version of the regular or standard traveler's notebook size I went ahead and did the conversion that I found online as far as the metric size so it would be 4.33 by 6.8 but I'm not a hundred percent sure that this is a legit size if it's really a thing I'm not sure but I do know the B6 Slim is typically 4.25 by 7. Again, it's the same size as the B6, just a little more narrow. Okay. Then we're moving on to one that's somewhat of an oddball, but I wanted to include because it's very popular right now. And that is the Hobonichi Weeks measures three and a half by seven point one two five or seven and one eighth and basically it's comparable again to all these sizes all of these are basically in the same family as far as height the width might be a little different but very similar heights then we have personal size which is three and a quarter by six and a quarter this one is quite versatile in that the traveler's notebook version and the ring bound version are exactly the same size so they're interchangeable um, this was my favorite of all the sizes because of that but now that more of the sizes are interchangeable between rings and traveler's notebooks I'm not as stuck on personal size as I was I'm, I'm kind of branching out a little more thinking I might want something a little bigger but this was my favorite size my go-to size even as recent as the beginning of the year I was you know personal size that's my size that's that's me but things change okay so now we're moving on to a6 another photo size this is what the a6 size would be and this is the metric version converted to inches 4.13 by 5.83 as you can see it's very little difference the metric version is a little shorter and a little wider which typically is the case because of where we start with the a4 page but here we go so that is the difference and then the a6 also is traveler's notebook a traveler's notebook size and a ring size so, and this is how it compares with those. And I'll span those out nicely in a minute. Next size is pocket. As far as I know, there is no metric version of this. 
this size is three and a half by five and a half and again this is the one that I said was closest to the quarter letter size that's neither here nor there and this is just a smaller size slightly smaller than the a6 then we have passport which is comparable to pocket it's only about a half inch difference passport is three and a half by five the metric version converted to inches is 3.5 by 4.8 very minimal difference as you can see the difference is just in the height okay so there's passport and finally we have the micro versions I'm going to start with the micro traveler's notebook size it's three by four the metric version converted to inches is 2.35 by four uh, I'm still not 100% sure that this is correct but from what I could find that's what it is and this is the difference just a quarter of an inch in the width the height is the same again three by four micro size and finally we have micro disc which is the same three by four but I still wanted to show that it is a disc version of the micro okay so that is all of the sizes now I'm going to divide these up and show you what the disc sizes are I'm going to show you a set of the ring sizes and then travelers notebook or bound book sizes okay so these are the disc sizes and I'm putting the half letter and A5 in here because there is the junior size that is available in the discount system as well this is the collection that I know of to be available for disc bound sizes again you can make your disc any size you want all you need is a disc and to punch your holes and you can make it whatever size you want there is also a big disc bound system called, and it's basically just a letter size I did not put that in here maybe I should but I mean it's just a piece of letter paper punched and put on some discs okay um, <laughs> so this is what we have for discs so let's move on to travelers notebook sizes of course we have the half letter the Kaye the regular and yes I finally did learn how to say Kaye I don't know what I was going through in that other video. Um, we got B6 is a traveler's notebook. I'm trying to get these to fan out. And we have B6 Slim. We have, this is not technically a traveler's notebook but it is treated a lot like one so I'm going to include that there the Hobonichi weeks we have passport personal a6 lots of traveler's notebook sizes pocket and micro okay did I get all of those in the picture okay now let's move on to rings as I was going through the rings I realized that I forgot one ring so I've been intending to do this video for months and I was collecting all the ones that I was missing and even at the beginning of recording this I forgot one thing and that was pocket rings so I'm including it here with the ring bound systems and I will also put it in the final shot with all the sizes together but pocket rings is 3.25 by 4.75 there is a metric equivalent but I think it's exactly the same so I did not make a metric to inch version so this is how it compares with the pocket travelers notebook size okay so those are your ring sizes so that's it for the updated version of size matters I will have photos and information available on my website regarding the sizes if you like videos like this please hit the subscribe button and the little bell so that you'll receive notifications each time i upload a new video if you have any questions or comments please leave them below 
Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.